Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, in this video, what I'd like to talk about is how to install VirtualBox on Windows 10. Now, before you get started, you wanna make sure that you set your hardware virtualization. You wanna enable it in your BIOS. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download the download for uh, VirtualBox. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, I typed in download VirtualBox on Google. My first available option is download. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna uh, select the package for my host, which is Windows. But before we get started, look at you have Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris are all supported. So VirtualBox will run on all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna click the, the Windows host. It's gonna download a file. Let's go over to downloads and see what's going on in downloads. Okay, so it's not completely downloaded yet. There it goes, it's downloaded. So let's click on it, double mouse click, and it will start the install process. Okay, so we get a warning. It says the app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. That's okay, we know it's it's a, a good app. So uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna click install anyway, right here, bam. Okay, now it's gonna pop up another uh, warning and it's going to say do you want this app to make changes to your device yes we do okay so now it's going to start this the install process so welcome to Oracle VM VirtualBox now we're going to go next we're going to accept all the defaults next it says it's going to reset our, our network that's fine yes let's go and we're, we're going to do the install here we go this is going to take probably 30, maybe 45 seconds. It looks like it's going slow for some reason. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, it's installing. Uh, took a little bit of time to get started, but that's okay. Uh, this is a pretty quick install. So it's almost finished. It's going to race to the end here pretty quick. And then we will be able to jump on... Uh, VirtualBox. This is VirtualBox 7.0.18. Okay, now it's completed. Let's click finish. Okay, so uh, it's probably started in the background somewhere here. Did it start? There it goes. Okay, let's give it full screen. All right, so we have to do one more thing though before we can use VirtualBox. VirtualBox has an extension pack. So let's go back to the browser. On the very exact page, scroll down a little bit. So we have VirtualBox extension pack. Just click that and it will start the download. Let's go back to the downloads. It's complete. It's a, a pretty small package here. So um, this is the one. Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Double click on that. It will install without any fanfare. There we go. Okay, now mine's gonna say reinstall because I have it installed already. Yours is gonna say, uh, do you wanna install it or something along those lines? Click yes and bam, it's done. Really, it's, it's oh wait a minute, I forgot. We got to read the disclaimer and the agreement and then you agree. Okay, so we're done. That's it. Pretty fast, pretty simple. Okay, congratulations. You just installed VirtualBox. Now let's go over and test it. Let's click new. Yep, it wants to do something here with a new virtual machine, which we're not going to configure. That's in the next video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment. And subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link, and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos.
Thank you for watching and have a great day.